know it's a little bit low light in here on the overhang. I'm at Cycle Springs Power Sports Accelery Auxiliary Lot today. Accelery. It's like X and celery. Weird. I'm at the Cycle Springs Auxiliary Lot where they do their boat service. Uh, this is a Yamaha SX210. I'm going to be doing a full detail on this boat. Uh, as far as earlier today, I shot the video where we did that scarab back there. But this, this, the scarab was just uh, polishing the exterior and then hitting that T-top edge. But this one's going to be a full-on detail. So I'm going to get all the oxidation off, get everything cleaned on the uh, transom. It's got some shine to it, but definitely has um, a good amount of oxidation everywhere. I'm going to pull this ladder out so we can take you aboard. All right. So we got the general dirt. It's a nice wide boat. Really nice. Just generally dirty everywhere. Nothing fancy. Again, I apologize for the lack of light. So, gotta get everything. I mean, you can see the oxidation right there where all the drips and stuff are, but no big deal. Solid clean and polishing everything will look good. Notice all of this is very oxidized. We get that all shined up. So, this is it. All right, I'm gonna unsnap all these mats and get as many cushions out of this thing as we can and then I'll just go to town cleaning and we'll get to polishing so uh, boats in the sun are not good when I have this nice overhang it's way better all right I got my lovely assistant in there working on the interior while I'm out here polishing the outside you can definitely see SX210 looks awesome. You can really see the difference between uh, the tape line here where it's all oxidized on this side and nice and glossy on that side. Same with the top deck, I actually polished to this tape line right here. You can see how glossy it is going forward and not so much back here. Notice I use the masking tape in areas I don't want the polisher to hit. Um, I also got all of that nice and cleaned up. Um, I did hit the rub rail with the polisher, which I'll take some universal clean and prep and get that off. Um, so that's it. I am using the brand new universal all-in-one correct and protect from the one system with an orange pad on my Harbor Freight DA. Right there. Great stuff, working very well. Plenty of cut with that product, awesome finish, and uh, it definitely leaves behind some real solid quality ceramic acrylics protection. So this is a great thing to use, especially when a dealer uh, like Cycle Springs, who I'm doing this boat for, Cycle Springs Power Sports carries my products uh, in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, they also have the universal all-in-one. So if you want to clean your boat up and it's oxidized like this, maybe slightly worse, you can definitely get everything out of it with the universal all-in-one. You can pick that up at Cycle Springs or you can uh, check out my web website, detailjuice.com. But that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm going to continue on. So I can get this polishing done and finish up the inside. So once I get the polishing done, I'll jump inside and help Tony uh, get that knocked out. You'll notice that the transom area is pretty nasty and very oxidized. You can see this area is really oxidized. Finally, a video where I'm actually using my cord control clip. Uh, I designed this thing back in 2012 and it's awesome for polishing. The problem is, 
I leave them at a job site or I lose them or whatever and I don't have it when I go out. So I made sure I made a few of them for my personal kit since I'm doing a lot of detailing these days. So I'm working on this uh, 21 foot Yamaha boat. It's coming out nice. I'm using uh, obviously the Harbor Freight dual action polisher with the buff and shine backing plate, five and a half inch buff and shine orange pad, and the brand new universal all in one from the One System. Yes, it can be used on boats just like all of the One System. If you'll notice right here on the top of the label, it says Marine. It also says auto, ATV, RV, motorcycle golf carts, aviation, awesome stuff, very universal on the platform and universal on basically what you can use it on. So a uh, little bit goes a long way. This stuff cuts nice but finishes even better and leaves behind our industry leading and proprietary ceramic acrylics hybrid technology. So it's getting cut, polished and protected. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a, a polish that you would trade for a heavy duty compound if you've got nasty hardcore oxidation. This is not incredibly oxidized, which I showed you in an earlier clip, but it definitely has a good amount on it and it's, this stuff is shining it up awesome. So I'm just gonna keep working. All right, happy people. Um, this is the uh, SX210 that uh, we've been working at, working on most of the day. So I'll walk you through the interior here of what we did. Um, first off, we pulled out all these mats. They just uh, snap in. Uh, we removed all the cushions we could remove uh, to clean them outside the boat while we clean the inside of the boat. And uh, so we cleaned the mats top and bottom while they're out of the boat, cleaned these two cushions and I think a couple more out of the boat. Um, notice we got all the jams all cleaned up. These actually are removable. Um, nothing we can do about those stains, unfortunately. I always like to clean the backs of all the hatches as well. Uh, we vacuumed out every um, cubby hole, especially the ones that have carpet in them, clean the backs of that. Um, got all around the speaker and stuff all nice and clean. Did some polishing on the interior. I gotta get this wiped off real quick. Um, again, the jams are important. So that's all clean. This hatch right here. I cleaned all inside this wakeboard hatch. I got down in there, scrubbed down all the walls, removed the mat, cleaned, that's residual water down there. Uh, also cleaned this jam really well. It's got a little bit of dirt in there, but it's super clean. Uh, I always get in all the jams, all the hatches, Pulled those mats out, clean those. Now this is a trade-in from a dealership, Cycle Springs Power Sports in uh, Clearwater. So they are having it done right to resell. I'd like to think that having my name on a detail makes it more valuable, but who knows? Uh, cleaned all in there, cleaned that jam out really well. And the inside of the doors usually get moldy and stuff. I cleaned all those out well between myself and uh, Vanna White, or I should say the girlfriend Tony, we got it all done. She did most of the interior. All I did was 
some nooks and crannies here and there but for the most part this is all her doing got the captain's chairs all clean got the cockpit all clean wiped the windows down with clean sweep um, got everything all the console here wiped down all the cup holders are cleaned out um, again with the captain's chairs got everything super clean all your cubby holes that open up like I mentioned got the bottoms of them all clean the jams as well as uh, vacuumed out everything that I could vacuum out that all in there I'll wipe this black plastic piece down and the uh, fire extinguisher battery switch vacuumed out all in there got all these jams straight cup holders all that but she's good to go interiors done the starboard side of the hull is done you can see how glossy that is I have not polished any of this side yet so I'm about to jump down and do that but I wanted to make sure I didn't have to get back in the boat uh, so I wanted to show you guys the interior before I got out for good so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the polishing and then I'll give you guys an overview of the completed deal but it's coming along very well all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and everything in between this is the SX210 Yamaha that I've been polishing for most of the day you'll notice it's all glossy I use my universal all-in-one from my uh, one system which is <laughs> it's a bad man when it comes to cleaning stuff up you can see that crazy gloss is fantastic uh, on the side here they hit something maybe a dock or something I don't know if you remember from the beginning I I didn't bother focusing on it but it had transfer all down the side this is actually um, a scratch in the vinyl and those are obviously gouges in the vinyl couldn't do anything with that but I got all that transfer off which uh, is a good deal on the transom area here it was a whole lot of hand polishing excuse me a whole lot of hand polishing uh, in the nooks and crannies over here um, like you know around these little pieces here um, around the grab rail around all this stuff this I don't know if uh, I caught a glimpse of it uh, in the earlier video but it was all rusted I got it looking looking right uh, all the mats were pulled out of the interior we cleaned those with universal clean and prep as well as these back ones um, we hand polished all in that crack in there I machine polished all the top and then obviously we cleaned all the vinyl and stuff um, like I said, or maybe I didn't mention, we went ahead and uh, hand polished that ladder with chrome cream. Got the drive underneath all clean. That side looks amazing as well. There's a bunch of scratches right here that I they do look better again I didn't focus on those in the initial video uh, but there's nothing else I could do they're just too deep um, I compounded and compounded rotary wool pad infinite cut um, gel coat oxidation eater I just it's not gonna budge any more than that and I don't think it'll be e any better if I wet sand it so I'm gonna leave it alone reflections check looking amazing because that's what we do detailjuice.com Gary Dean detailing uh, I took all my detailing information off of detailjuice.com uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build another Gary Dean detailing website so I'll have all the information and that kind of thing on that site but that's it boat was uh, prepped for sale again SX210 Yamaha got a little electrolysis starting tearing up that aluminum but anyway thank you guys so much for watching these videos I truly appreciate you taking the time 
uh, to listen to me babble. Uh, this has been the SX210 Yamaha for Cycle Springs, Power Sports, and Clearwater. Like I mentioned already in this video, Cycle Springs carries my brand new one system in its entirety and a bunch of awesome kits that I put together just for the retail environment where you can save some money and get everything you need to leave that store and go take care of your auto boat, RV, motorcycle, ATV, any of that stuff. They've got you covered. You can also get individual products from Cycle Springs, any of my other resellers, uh, or check out detailjuice.com. So moving forward, if you buy a used boat from Cycle Springs, uh, I most likely will have detailed it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and give him the okay to, to uh, I don't know if it makes any sense, uh, offer me the work, but uh, I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff and it really wasn't that bad with this, on, this overhang here at this uh, service center they have, so. We shall see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, also, check the date on the video that you're watching. It could be very old and the information could also be very old. So uh, cross-reference my new videos with my old videos if you're concerned about something or if something is interesting to you, please, Maybe use the search bar on YouTube or wherever uh, to see if I have information about what you're asking for. Um, or you can contact me directly, I guess. Just send me a text. I'll tell you uh, if the information has changed or whatever. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day.